Hello, rebound here. I woke up early this morning, which was just fine with me because I hear we're supposed to get some rain. And I wanted to make sure that I had my tent all packed up before it started raining. I slept well. And I've got about 16 miles to go today. My ankle is still hurting a bit. Not as much as it was hurting yesterday after I got into camp. So I've already taken some ibuprofen. And I'm hoping that I can at least make it to Damascus. In Damascus, I'm going to take a zero. So we shall go from there. I don't think it's anything uh, like broken or torn. I think it's probably just wear and tear and a little bit of inflammation and it needs to rest. Probably those 18 mile days I did back to back were not a good thing to do. So about 16 today and then 10 tomorrow into Damascus and I should be good to go. And uh, it's still pretty dark out here so I'm going to put the phone away. This is Rebound signing out. <music> If this is an old chimney or a grave or a recycled old chimney which is now a grave but what a beautiful place I wish I had a clearer view I don't know if you can see that orangey pink spot over there but that is our sunrise. Looks like it's going to be a glorious one. Oh my goodness. Absolutely stunning. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful sunrise. little puzzle. I am going to Abingdon Gap Shelter. I've still got 11.3 miles. I have to say that today has been extremely pleasant so far. I've been hiking for about two and a half hours. And the trail has been pleasantly, mostly flat, with a few little ups and downs. And that has been so nice. Such a welcome thing. When I came through this pasture in 2018, it was just before trail days. And I panicked when I came through that gate and saw what looked like a festival out here. And as an introvert, my heart started pounding and I thought, oh no, a party. And I thought, well, no, can't go over it. Nope, can't go under it. You gotta go through it, as Dory says. And I even thought, I wonder if I can hike around it. And I eventually decided to go through it. Somebody who was a host greeted me 
right as I got to all of the canopies and told me they were with such and such group and they had gotten permission to camp and have their little festival here. It was a pre-trail days celebration. They had all kinds of drinks and snacks and me, I'm like a deer in the headlights. So he takes me over to the drinks. I grab a Coke, slug it down, grab a few snacks. He says, oh, and here's a group over here that we're all sitting in a circle. My worst nightmare. Socializing in a circle. And I went over there and said, hi, I'm Rebound. And uh, stood there for maybe 15 seconds. Thanks, my host threw away my trash, and I hightailed it out of there, because that is not my thing. If it's like, you know, some kind of group where we're all going to meet, like let's, let's say it was a church group that was going to have a weekend outing at Boots Off, and we were going to have a campfire out there at their fire ring, maybe they had a little stage, maybe somebody was going to sing some songs and entertain us or, you know, a talk or whatever, then I could have handled that. As long as it was over by 7 or 8 because that's past my bedtime. <laughs> I'm kind of joking, but not. Still, introverts and extroverts are just different breeds. We gotta respect each other, and in my experience, it seems like introverts are far more understanding and um, introverts are far more understanding and kind about the differences between us and extroverts than the extroverts are of us introverts. They just don't get it. So, comes back to you, do you, hike your own hike, draw the circle around yourself and take care of the person inside, because if you're doing that, you won't have time to mess in somebody else's circle and, you know, try to dictate their life or control them. Nobody wants to be controlled. So, that is your psychology lesson. For today. It is so beautiful and peaceful out here, especially when there are no festivals going on. Well, we just had some most awesome trail magic there at the Gap. Talk about a day that I ever needed trail magic. It was today. It rained about an hour. It was a light rain, but uh, still annoying and left me feeling a little bit cold. It's been foggy. This is one of the really old shelters. They don't make them like this anymore. I couldn't agree more. Hello, I'm at Abingdon Gap Shelter. And I think I did 16 point something today. I have about 10 to go tomorrow, and I've got a nice tent spot here. 
It's down from the shelter. I've stayed here before. There are a lot of gnats, but this is gonna be away from the shelter and um, probably not too many people setting up here. This is my tent spot. Those are my clothes that were in the top of my backpack after I took them off this morning and they're wet. The shelter is down there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right through those two trees. It's my understanding that the water is very steep to get to and that's what I'm going to do now. So for now, this is Rebound signing out.